Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to uh, add filters and having, you know, your customers filter through uh, certain products, uh, certain categories that you have and also be able to sort uh, the shop within your Wix. Now it's going to be working on the shop page within your Wix, so you should have that and um, I will just show you how to actually do it. now. You can basically filter through your categories. So obviously you will need to have a bunch of categories. And I believe that in order to actually have those categories um, show up within the filters, they should at least have uh, two products within them. So I've just created a few categories here to show you. And I will actually just jump into it and show you how to add your filters and sorts or you know your sorting option to your uh, Wix website shop page. Now there is a problem uh, with it and I will also talk about it uh, soon that I try to for example add it to something else to a different page with a different kind of gallery or uh, product listing and it's just it's just I tried so much but it, it didn't work. Uh, for the time being what I can just make it work guaranteed is the shop page. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if we go to the Wix website editor here, we can, uh, I will show you the shop page first and how to actually apply it. And then I will show you what I was talking about that when a, I try to try to do it on a different page, it just it doesn't work or it doesn't even show up as an option. And now this site is a sample site for videos like this. So don't even judge. Uh, so what we go, we go ahead and go to the shop page. So let me just go ahead and find the shop page. Where's the shop page? Hold on. If you go to pages and menus, we can see this shop page right here. So in here, uh, we should find all products and, uh, it's going to just showcase all the products. That is the usual case. But if we want to add filters and actually showcase, uh, categories and stuff and have our customers easily filter through them, uh, it's going to be very simple. You just click on your products here and you should find these options, manage products and settings. Uh, we will just go ahead and click on settings where we should find the main menu where, where we will be doing all the work here. We should find three options that are going to be um, valuable, valuable here, uh, the filters, the list, and the sorting. The first thing you go ahead and go to your list, and we make sure that this is turned on, the show category list. And already we can see uh, the uh, categories that I have. Those are the names of the categories, so don't even uh, bother, uh, like realizing what this is. Okay. Anyways. Um, so we have our list here showcased for us, but we can do even more when it comes to it. So let's go to our list and we should, uh, find the show category list title, uh, which is this collections. And you can obviously just rename it to whatever you want. Uh, I have it as collections. You can just, uh, name it filter here if you want. And it's just going to change. So name it whatever you want. And then it's just going to show you uh, the collections that we have. So you can have things in sale or for sale or something. You can just list them over here. Now, obviously, you should know that managing your um, collections is under here. You can just create whatever collections that you want. And you can just have them over here. Now, uh, another thing which is very cool is if you want a specific um collections to be listed not all of them uh you get these options here so sync all my categories automatically which means just you know show all the categories that we have or if you want custom where we can just you know select a specific few so uh, let's do a test collection and testing rounds too and we can also rearrange the order and it's just going to do so on the left panel here as we can see so it's going to, be going to be down to us whether we want to sync all of them or choose a few. Uh, next up, we go to the sorting here. It's going to give us an option to turn on or off. 
where we can just turn on the sorting and you can see on the right side um, we should have it here and we can see the options on how the customers are able to sort the products is it by recommended newest price uh, from low to high or from high to low and then we have also the um, from A to Z and you can also again change uh, this to uh, just sort if you want um, so if we close out of this and I will preview it later on you can just uh, it's a drop down menu they can just click on it and then they will see the options that we have just selected and uh, lastly uh, what we have is going to be the filters where we can just first turn it on uh, and then we show the filter title which is filter by you can again change it like the others uh, and we can also show applied filters section so uh, here we get to see the categories we get to see the price we get to see the product options if you want you can just uh, hide them or edit them uh, I believe there was a an option to create a specific one. Hold on, let me edit the price. Okay, so apparently we can just edit the names. I, I swear it was different, where we can actually create our own filters. But I guess they have uh, changed that. Anyways, so here we can just, you know, do the filters, select the categories that we want it to be filtered through. Uh, and also the price and product option here we should instead have create a filter uh, anyways apparently this is what we have to work with so here we go we got our filters here we've got uh, the filter uh, the, the the list here and then we also have the sorting so here is just going to show us the uh, the collections and here the filters it should show us the price and all of those things the product options as well as the uh collections if we want and we can just remove that from here if we go to filters because we already have it so instead of having it twice we can just hide this and then it should be hidden okay you can see this is the pricing filter okay so let's just um save and preview and let's see how it actually looks like so let's just go ahead and preview. Just give it a sec. Okay, so we've got to the pricing uh, filter here. So from low to high, and we can just do that. We can get we can get the color, size, and uh, different variants. If you want to filter through those, and obviously testing grounds is the collection name. And we also finally have the sorting here, which is we have these options that we ticked on because we can also remove them if we want but we get those if we want okay um what i was meant to say earlier was uh if you try to get a uh, go to another page for example here i tried to have it over here and tried let's say you have this here uh, and you just go ahead and click on settings you should not be able to find it and now I think it's just because it's a default setting um, uh, slider gallery but I thought you know we can at least have the sorting menu where, where people can just sort through but apparently no it's it, what it worked for me was only in uh, the shop page so this is what I have for you for this video. I hope you liked it. And uh, yeah, th thanks for watching, guys.